Alright y'all, so I just wanted to do a quick live video um, just to kind of show you what uh, uh, I got going on with the uh, Innofader now. So you might have seen that I internally grounded it and uh, you know it helped out. But um, I was still having some issues where I would, you know, the, the cut in time would be there, you know, which was nice. And then it would, you know, it would be on. But it still had a gradual fade, so it would be low, and then I'd move it, and boom, it would be blaring. So <clears throat> I decided to look at the instructions, and um, I started um, scrolling down, and I seen this one right here, where it says on off for scratching default. So the way you do that, you go from point B to A back to B. So if you're looking at your Raiden fader, your um, RX-IF2, uh, A is here, B is the middle, and C is to the right. So what you're gonna do is you're going to push in your calibrate button um, on your Raiden fader, you know, what's on the side. Uh, here, you know, I located, I relocated mine to the side of my uh, handy tracks here. So you're gonna push that button in while you're still holding that calibration button, you're going to go from B to A, back to B, and then let the calibration button go. And that'll get you back to your default setting. Um, so now, <clears throat> before when, it, you know, when I would open it up, it was a gradual, you know, it was a, a little fade, you know, so it'd be low and then high. Now, since I did that, Look at this. It's instant on now. So there's no more fading in. Um, you know, it's just an on off now. And on so um, if you have any uh, issues with your cut in time where it's kind of like a it comes on but it's a little you know it's a little low and then you push it in just a tad bit more and then it's on completely you know full volume and that's probably what you're gonna want to do um, kick it back to factory which is once again you put it in you know in the middle push your calibrate button in so you go from B to A then back to B let the calibrate and uh, calibration button go and bam you're set so anyway this thing is now it's on point so I figure I would just uh, make that video real quick um, I was trying to record this video on my phone but I pretty much don't have any more <laughs> Um, space or storage on my phone so I had to do a live video but anyway hopefully that video helps out and uh, yeah keep on cutting y'all peace